back in the days, uh, by the way, I've been at Amazon for 16 years. Back then, we had five scientists within the company, and today, it's in the thousands. I came to Scott Science because Amazon's supply chain is one of the most complex and technologically advanced supply chains in the world. And I thought that the problems that I would face here would be some of the most challenging and complex uh, uh, problems a scientist could um, tackle. And that's actually what I found. I think most people will expect uh a much more sciencey environment with writing papers, but that's not really how it works. In academia, we go forward from possibility, right? We go forward from, hey, here's a concept, can we develop it, can we make it useful? In Amazon, we work backwards. Here's the problem, and what scientific concepts can we apply to solve it? I really wanted to make an impact in RealBird and Scott Science just like provides that. I wanted to still use the state of the art like technology to build solutions. So this is the perfect environment I would say and I'm just like so happy uh, with the decision that I made. What's amazing about Scott Science is that there is a lot of uh, expert knowledge and the work of us, the scientific community, is to formalize and codify this expert judgment within some rigorous models. I was almost like a kid in a candy store. The, the pace is much faster than academia. Uh, um, something that I had a hand in within a few months of joining was already implemented and we were seeing the actual results and that was uh, that was very rewarding as well. I'm really interested in how Scott use data to make smart supply chain decisions, you know, like uh, inventory planning, uh, labor planning and buying and uh, how this uh, supply chain decisions help Amazon provide the best customer experience. We have particle physicists and biologists and chemists. We don't have enough English majors, but... <laughs> I know there will be tons of opportunities for me to implement sophisticated models using big data and really make critical supply chain uh, impact. We have a really strong uh, science uh, this group presence here, so it is uh, really amazing. You just, you know, when you have a question, you can just like go up and then like exchange ideas, etc. So uh, this is a really uh, great environment for a scientist to be in. During my many years of working with scientists and also managing, mentoring, and building environment for them, I would say that they typically want three things, and me included. Uh, number one is really interesting problems, uh, challenging, interesting problems, intellectually stimulating. Uh, number two is an impact that, that you see immediately. And number three is also having a group of scientists that you can actually bounce ideas off as a science leader it's often something that I think about, how do we foster an environment that every single scientist have access to, the, to those three aspects and have an opportunity to grow.